Chat, what's up, man? YouTube, what's up? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 72. Shout out to my Buster with the sub, man. If you want to watch these live, they are Tuesday night. We're going to get these even more popping now. Uh, just more attention, more everything on Twitch. Everything is booming. Everything is moving. Um, so if you want to watch these, follow me, Twitch, twitch.tv slash dub dot. All those links are below. 72 straight weeks of Needed Podcast. This is centered around men and the football world. So, if you're in the chat, check in, man. Let me know what y'all up to, what y'all doing. Free agency's been booming. Free agency's been popping, man. So, let me know. I'll show y'all the topics we're going to go over today. We're just going to talk about squads. If you guys haven't known, been playing with Snoop Dogg a lot the last couple of days. Snoop Dogg and his boys and squads. And I'm going to go over a couple of my ideas kind of to get squads to be better. Squads to be <clears throat> a better mode and more entertaining for y'all to watch. Then we're going to talk about quarantine, bro. The coronavirus is crazy right now. The world is the world is on its head. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know where you guys live. I feel very good about uh, uh, living in the East Coast right now. You know, so for me, uh, it's not super taking over. I bought a lot of. I went grocery shopping twice in the last week. Um, obviously, there's no paper left. There was no water left. I had to buy like a Bugs water. It was like Zen water, like Zen. Some alkaline, you know, some crap water. Because, you know, the only waters that were left were like the $4 a piece waters um, in the supermarket. So, I definitely grabbed those just to have some water in the house. Yes, Ohio is crazy. My girl lives in Ohio. She's about to drive out here um, Drive out here in the next couple of days. Yes, I do. I did buy these, bro. And this is what I'm telling you. And speaking of books, bro, this is what, yo, everybody buys tissue paper. But all this shit, this shit was buy one, get one free in the supermarket, chat. You feel me? Buy one and get one free in the supermarket. No, just we cool. I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the guys be great today, man. But these were buy one. Water is how you say water in Philadelphia. All right. So like, these were buy one get one free. And you know a bottle like this. As I let me go ahead and kill a vitamin C real quick. You know, cause I don't know if I took my vitamin C. Cortoba, I'm the best Warzone player he plays with, which is sad. Take a vitamin C. Get you these. Because Boogs told me, I said, Boogs, what should I do? He said, start preparing your body. Start taking a lot of vitamin C now. So I said, Boogs, it's a good point. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take so I double up on my vitamins. So that way my body has tons of vitamin C in it. Got the B12 I take before I game. A lot of energy in the B12. Boom. So anyway, yo. These are my one of days. Gotta be prepared. No. <coughs> I might have the Rona. I just sneezed. Too much vitamins and I just sneezed. See? Vitamins might be a scam. Formula Peak might be right. Jeez. Anyway, I definitely have the uh, vitamin Ds. Or the vitamin, uh, all the vitamins and stuff. Just to prepare your body. So who, who what knows if you get sick? Who knows? But anyway... So it's been crazy. So I want to talk about uh, what what games, what Madden games in particular, you guys would play during a quarantine. So that's something we're going to talk about this podcast. My man Common with the gift of cells. We are hype train level one. Are we going to hype train for the podcast? Are we going to hype train? Is that how you guys are feeling today? Because that's how I'm feeling. I like a hype train. I choo choo my ass all the way to the to the station. You hear me? However, just depends on you guys, man. But anyway, so. Uh, what was I say? And then the last topic I'm gonna talk about Madden Bowl. Obviously, with the quarantines, with the uh, coronavirus, everything has kind of been canceled, right? Um, so they're gonna cancel a live Madden. There is gonna be no live Madden Bowl, and then it becomes what to do. There's still a, pretty much a quarter million dollars out there in the Madden 20 prize pool. There is what 14 competitors that have already locked their spot into Madden Bowl. So for me, I, it gets to the point where we start thinking about what ideas we're going to have. So we're going to talk about that. And you guys can add your ideas. You guys can get it popping. Uh, everybody knows everything. I'll, I will be the first to tell you, I'm not, I don't know anything. So as far as like, uh, as far as the corona, as far as what to do, as far as everything, I, I know absolutely nothing. Now, I mean, I guess that's bad. Where the hell is my... Oh, there it does, chat. I don't know anything. 
I really don't. So I will not pretend to know anything. I will listen to all you guys. Now, now you know how I don't listen to you guys when I play video games. I will definitely listen to you guys when it comes to being doctors because you guys are better doctors than me. I don't really know anything about doctors. Also, man, if you guys don't have the physicality hoodie, GearGamingStore.com, check these out, man. These are probably my top selling shirt out there, the physicality hoodie. Also, man, all we are Madden clothes are really pretty much dirt cheap for like 10 bucks a t-shirt. So, guys are interested in grabbing those. They are still there if you don't have them yet. So, my man Waki with the sub as well, man. I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> pew, pew, we working. We working right now, as you guys notice. I did switch the uh, the category. We are not on Madden 20 now. We are on sports and fitness. And uh, so, want to get this more popping. Open, open my mind to a bunch of new people. Um, but you guys know what we're talking about. We're talking about Madden. Um, but uh, you guys, man, free agency is kind of crazy. I want to know why in here, who is your team and what's going on in free agency? Because I know it's not on my topic list, but man, I, at some point when Madden, we got to talk about how this free agency affects Madden, you know? Um, the biggest news today is Tom Brady is going to be on the Buccaneers, which is kind of crazy. I mean... You know, for Tom Brady to go to the Buccaneers, I think the Patriots. I, I think the Patriots really got a. Uh, I think the Patriots really got a chance, or not? A, not chance is not the word. Um, I think they got to keep Tom Brady. I don't know why they let Brady go. I don't know what their plan is, um, to make moves uh, as far with uh, Brady. I don't know what their next step is. I, I don't necessarily do think Brady was the reason they were they didn't win the Super Bowl. You know, I don't think Brady. I don't think Brady was amazing. But I don't think he was bad either, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like he was, like, mediocre. I feel like if he's mediocre, you got to keep the six-time ring winner. You know what I mean? But they decided to part ways. <clears throat> the Dolphins will always be bad. Celtics, as you say, that they all... It's just... The Dolphins will never be relevant. Um, And... I said... Yeah, so what's up with the Patriots? Are they going to... I don't think Belichick is a rebuilding type. Maybe they get Cam Newton. I'll tell you what, if you put Cam Newton on the Patriots with Belichick, they might be tough. I mean, that's just how I feel. Um, but then we talk about Brady goes to Brady goes to the Buccaneers. Um, are they gonna be good? Are 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 the Buccaneers gonna be good? Is that something that the Buccaneers are gonna all of a sudden be tough? It's I don't think the Buccaneers have been good in fifteen years, really. So for me, I mean for me, it's definitely tough. Uh, it's a tough spot for him to be good, especially because most of those receivers are down the field receivers, Chet. And it's like the one question of his ability was really throwing the ball far. So for me, it's like, I mean, what are we going to do? Because he's not going to be able to throw the ball far now. So he has all these speed guys, I guess. Yeah, well, he, at least he has big receivers. Obviously, those receivers can do pretty much anything they want on the field. But for me, um, it's going to be tough because that was his downside. He can't get the ball down the field. Mike Evans is best if you're getting the ball down the field, pretty much. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not the biggest free agent person. It's about what's up with the Eagles. Like, um, for me, it's like I'm not the biggest free agent person. It's about the the, the Eagles. It's like, okay, I, I mean, obviously, it's tough. It's tough. You kind of want everybody. You know, unless I want this guy, I want that guy, I want this guy. But are these guys really that tough? Like, is Byron Jones really that tough? That's who the Eagles, I, everybody kind of wanted the Eagles to get was Byron Jones. Is he really that amazing? And, and and who else is out there that's really that tough? Now, I will tell you, I was kind of surprised that, that DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins went to the Cardinals for a second-round pick pretty much. Bro, if I was the Eagles, I would have I would have done that in a heartbeat. I wish we had that opportunity. You know, I, that was pretty. That was a wild trade for the Texans. I don't know how we just say I'm getting rid of Hopkins. We're going to take David Johnson, get rid of Hopkins, and we'll be cool with it. You know what I'm saying, Chat? So it's like, man, how do you how does that happen? Yeah, how does that how does Bill O'Brien? Uh, yeah, something must have been wrong, man. For real, something really must have been wrong. And then they took David Johnson, who is an old wife's running back out of nowhere. He was tough for like two years, and uh, but he's falling off, and he's getting paid a lot of money. And then, you know, Diggs goes to Buffalo. It's kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, people have ego. Formula, you're right. And it's tough to really separate 
the the ego from all that stuff, really. So it was free agency is crazy. It's still, what's big names are still out there. Clowney is still out there, and they're talking about uh, Darius Slay as a trade target. Those are pretty much the two people the Eagles have. Uh, I mean, the Eagles fans have eyes on and want to get. So for me, it's like what uh, what two people are, or is that going to make our team that much better? And I'll tell you, Darius Slay probably would make our team that much better. Um, so Darius Slay would make us that much better. And same thing with Clowney. I think Clowney, I think Clowney is overrated, but I do think, and someone said, every defense is on is pretty good. You know, the Texans and the Seahawks have been pretty good defenses. He's definitely a good person, man. Uh, a good person to have on your defense. So for me, Clowney wouldn't be bad either. Slay or Clowney, I'd be cool with. But that's free agency. Like I said, I mean, this still going on. And I, I really feel like at the end of the day, um, football teams are built in the draft and football teams are built in the trenches. That's one thing the Eagles, <clears throat> like, obviously I don't want to tell you the Eagles are the best team in the league or like on some serious, serious talk. The Eagles have been good, not the best team, but they've been good playoff threat every single year, no matter who the quarterback is, who the wide receiver is, who the secondary is, because they're good in the trenches pr- pretty much. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So for me, when I look at that, if they're good in the trenches, they'll be a good football team. So the Eagles always address the trenches, and I think that's where football is won. You know, that's why the Niners were good. Uh, as much as the Chiefs, I mean, they weren't terrible in the trenches. They weren't great, but Chris Jones was a beast. But the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes, and that's rare to find. It's easier to find people to dominate the trenches than it is to find, you know, a superstar quarterback like Patrick Mahomes. So if I were building a team, I would build in the trenches, and that's what the Eagles do with signing this kid. Javon Hargraves. Now, I don't know nothing about uh, Javon Hargraves. So, if there's any Steelers fans, is he tough? As RG is in the chat, I know it was a rough day for RG because the Patriots let go of Tom Brady. And the Patriots run is, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the same. It's really not the same. They got to find a new, they got to find like a quarterback they can get behind that's kind of their own. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the Dolphins will never be good blocky. That's not happening. I think the Bills, I think it's open for the Bills. But let's not say the Patriots are going to be bad, though, Chad. Let's not going to say the Patriots are going to be bad. Because I don't think the Patriots would be bad. I don't think I don't think that's impossible. Tecmo, what up? Um, I don't think the Patriots would be bad. I think it would take a lot for the Patriots to be bad. I don't I don't want the, the Patriots to get Nick Foles. That would be that would be bad. I, I I'd be uncomfortable. Yeah, Malcolm Jenkins left. I, that upset me. That's my favorite player, so he's gone. So I, as much as RG's heard about Tom Brady, I'm heard about you know Malcolm Jenkins. That's my favorite player. He's gone. Anyway, so I'm feeling good. So I want to talk about Madden. As you guys know, as my man Tech Mode just came in here, I want to talk about squads, man. And I want to see how much you guys like squads how much you guys watch squads and how much you guys think it could have potential in Madden in the long run, you know, because it's fun. I will tell you, uh, I feel like it needs some type of parameters and rules to be a great mode, man. I really do. I feel like it needs some type of parameters and some type of roles. No, seriously, I think it needs some type of, some type of parameters, some type of like, Rules essentially. I need it. I need it. I feel like it needs. I feel like this is how I feel about Madden. Madden is already way harder to pass than it is to run. Not that passing is super hard and not that running is super easy, but it's just passing is so much harder than running and running is so easy. You just press A and you know what I'm saying? So my man my Jones with the gift is. So for me, we did not play last night. Uh,. Now, that's what I'm saying. For me, it's like, oh, and squads, when you put another user, it just makes it that much harder to pass, and then people just run. So I I honestly do feel like structure is a good word too, man. I do feel like if there was some type of structure or rules in place in the game, it would be a better experience. Because if, honestly, if we had a, if there was a, a million dollar squads tournament tomorrow. I don't think there'd be a pass thrown. I really don't. 
I really don't think there'd be a pass thrown. Seriously. Uh, and for me, and for me as a passer and as somebody, it's just boring, you know. And I don't know if you guys feel that way watching it. It's just like, it's not, it's not fun for me. Where I, on the on the flip side, passing the ball is so much fun for me. I love that. Like that's what makes me me, you know, passing the ball and having fun like that. Um. So for me, uh, that's why it kind of frustrates me. That's why when you watch the other night when I play, like I'm, we're going to pass the ball. We're not just going to run the ball because even if it's it's so much fun and as a passer, it's so much of a challenge to have two people on the field and these guys doing everything they can to try to get to stop you from passing. I feel like it's such a challenge and, and I, I'm up to the challenge. I like that. It's exciting. Uh, but for me, I mean, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go with the passing wise, and I just think, I think it'd be better if it was just passing, honestly. Yeah, sad, and that's something to talk about how I would make squads a better mode. And you guys can agree or disagree with me. Um, I, I want to show you. Let, let's go to the let's go to the board, chat. Let's go to the board. Let's go to the board. This we have a board here. That we go to in times of in times of structure, when we need to get our structure popping, chat. Oh, display. All right, this is our board right here, boys. This is my philosophy. This is my philosophy. What would make squads the best? Now, we played this a long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember. Squads used to be. Squads used to be on what you call it. It used to be. On regs. Now, I wish that was something that was in the game as well. I wish squads was on regs. Let's just let's just say we can give up on that. All right, chat. I mean, it would make it way better if squads was on regs. But let's just say we can give up on squads being on regs, right? <clears throat> yes. And we used to play this, like this time of the year when Madden's kind of over and it's kind of boring, whatever it may be. But obviously, this is what you'll do. This is your lineman. Five. This is your quarterback. Let's say now for me with this philosophy, I feel like doubles or even two back, split two back out of whatever, but you know, people never run this. The, you know, that two back is a good formation and we'll have our two wide receivers. Now, obviously let me go ahead and do the defense. Defense is going to be like red, boom. All right, this is just our white board. I'll show you guys what we used to do when we played this mode. Right, and I'll put this guy. Now the users are going to be bright red on defense. Boom. Users. Those are your three users right there. There it is. On offense, these are going to be your three users. Obviously the quarterback. This wide receiver, this wide receiver. Right? This is this was our rules that we made up. <clears throat> so Essentially, you have to pass every play. You have to, there is no passing. You cannot throw, no matter what, you cannot throw to the computer guys. Every single pass has to be to the users, right? You can't blitz. All these guys got to be in spies, right? Except these four down linemen. The four down linemen, that's your timer. We talked about a timer, and you know, a timer essentially, this is your timer is the four down rush. Your quarterback needs to have pocket. Your quarterback needs to stand there, essentially. Then this guy is a computer. You can probably put him on a hitch with the spy user in him, and you can't throw to him. You literally have to throw to these two wide receivers, right? That's the whole point where it's playing seven on seven. Listen, you literally have to throw to these two wide receivers. Now, there's you have three DBs that can cover these guys. So on play one, first down, maybe you double this guy and press him. On play two, maybe you double this guy and press him. And the computer has to make their read, and we have to call the right play as you know wide receivers and quarterbacks. To make a play. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we used to play. And it was tons of fun for us. Because one, there was no running. You had to pass. It was really all user. It was really popping. Honestly. And that's how we used to do it. It was fun. You know? And, and honestly, nobody needs to give it to That's my whole point. Nobody needs to give us this mode. Because we can make this mode. You know? We, we spend too much time on, oh, EA needs to put this in the game. Put this in the game. Literally, it's just rules you got to follow by. That's all. It's rules you got to abide by. Obviously, I would I would play this mode with no abilities. Just no abilities at all. You know what I'm saying? So for me, this is what I would do to make squads more fun. 
you know, and make it more. I, I don't know if you guys wouldn't want to watch this. I don't know if you guys have never even thought about this or think it would be good. But uh, I think it would be an awesome addition to uh, squads and, and Madden viewership, honestly, if you guys would like to watch this or if you guys even like watching squads, you know, if it's something that's that entertaining or anything. I mean, what would a D-line user do? No, bro, all right. What, who the hell want to play the D-line in a linebacker? It would. This is my point, though. Cause if I'm the wide receiver and I'm on a computer DB, it's not fun. I want to outthink the other person. I want to get open on the other user. That's the whole point. Exactly. Yo, step your game up. Exactly. If NFL Street would be fun as hell if it was. If NFL Street was like team play, it would be fun as hell. Yeah, like I don't want to run against the computer. The computer manning me up. That's not fun. I don't know. I think I think this will always make squads better, and, and I would love to play this if anybody was ever down to play like this. NFL Street. That's essentially what I'm trying to make. Honestly, you know, and and and, and it's really it's not it's not it's really not any. No, tell me, honestly, it's really not any like nerdy man. It's really just going out there and playing. It's like it's like it's nobody going to be that much better than anybody else. Y'all just got to be on the same page of what plays you're running and hopefully call the right plays at the right times. Honestly, yeah, it's just one on one, and then you got one double guy or one deep safety. Now, my my concern is what can I do with this other safety? Maybe put him in a spy too, so we're just cover one or something. The line, all these dudes in spies, bro. <laughs> Put all these dudes in spies. You know what I'm saying? That way it's pretty much three on three. It's pretty much three on three. Like when you guys played, this was like, it's pretty much three on three when you play in the street. That's all. Like you go play in the street, you go play in the alleyway, three on three, boom, let's get it. I think that'd be dope, honestly. Because I, obviously, I don't know if you guys ever played three on three uh, in the street. We used to play it all the time, really. But for me, I don't know. It's just because honestly, it's just stupid. The way squads are now, like we play these guys, and it's just like everybody just runs every play, and then people trying to. There's no point in passing. It's it's just not worth the risk of a turnover, really. And it's just dumb. Done. I can't. I don't. I, why not make a throw? I don't work at EA. I don't make the game. I don't have no input on what's in the game. I have no control over it. This is the best way to make it three on three. Like what? Oh my god, dude. I'm done. I'm done. You guys are absolute idiots, bro. Yeah, I have no desire to ever work at EA. Ever. None. Like, none. And I will never, ever work, ever work there. Ever. Ever. With that attitude, you haven't even worked there. You know? God, I'm done. I'm done. Like, even, like, I swear to God, the chat reminds me every day how stupid y'all are. How stupid y'all are every day, the chat reminds me. Literally every day. Why not make like I literally work there? Like I literally like I can control the game. Why not make it a three on three mode then? Like I yeah I control the I control the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm done, bro. Just rough. The chat is bruh. For my own saying, we can I, listen. It make it way more fun than squads is now. It's stupid. I just talk about it like this. I'm playing squads against freaking Ryan Hollins and just all these dudes blitzing the hell out of me, and it's like okay. I have to, I have to make, do, I have to throw the ball. I have to snap and throw the ball, make a read with two users on the field. I literally have time to snap and throw the ball. So it's like, what? It, this is just, it's just, it's just idiotically dumb to do that, really. But if you play where it's just I'm checking the user, they're checking me. If I get open, boom, I get open. If not, it's a sack. They punt the ball. You know, it's just it, it has more control over the user. Uh, you have more. It's just more fun. I don't know. That's just me. I have more fun passing the ball. I have more fun trying to get a big play passing. I have more fun trying to fool the defense. I really do. Like, that's just me, man. Yeah, squad. Listen, squads is like... The running the ball is not fooling the defense at all. I, I love fooling the defense, calling the right play, and, and catching them in the wrong play. That's like... That's what I live for, honestly. You know, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys like watching squads, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it going. 
I know for a fact I could get squads popping. I already know I could get a pop. I get anything I want popping in Madden. Period. So if you guys are interested in squads, like I mean, we can get it popping. All right, talk more. Yeah, definitely call more passing and run. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. No, clutch. It's really good. Clutch. Yeah, that was really good. Clutch. Until so they send a hundred people at us, then it's like you can't do that. It's just dumb. It's just the game becomes dumb. Honestly, if it was just rush four, honestly, if the game mode was this rush four and and only pass, I feel like the game would be fun. I feel like you have enough on defense to stop people, and you have enough on offense to to move the ball to. I just feel like shit. If the game was just passing, it'd be fun. But that's how I feel about real Madden too. So we can't go down that road. We can't go down that road. Honestly. Matt, you know, Madden used to have all the drills. Rushing attack would be honestly as as y'all think I'm playing. Rushing attack would be one of the biggest esport games ever, dude. Tell, tell, I'm telling you, I really believe that. Rushing attack. I, what reminds me of rushing attack is um, what's it? Rocket ball, Rocket League. Like just the most simple thing in the world. If you got super stick, you'd be tough. I feel like rushing attack would be so tough for Madden. And I think honestly, rushing attack would be more successful than man as far as the esport because everybody can play rushing attack you can be eight years old and play rushing attack you can know nothing about football and play rushing attack man is the complete opposite yeah the pocket drills were tough too that's another thing that could be be popping honestly i really I, i've always said that rushing attack yes rushing attack and this is the thing about rushing attack like right i can be the best man player in the world Right? And you could never play Madden and still compete with me in rushing attack. And we could have fun. There's nothing like that in Madden. One thing about being, being a pro man player, I can't play with none of my real life friends at all. Like, literally, can never play Madden with them all, at all. But if there was rushing attack, I could play with them all the time. If there was three on three squads where we just passed, I could play with them all the time. That's all. So it's like you got the, the most successful sport. And you look at how successful Fortnite is, right? Fortnite's so successful because eight-year-olds can play it, bro. That, that honestly, yeah. <clears throat> but I think that I think those little additions to the game or additions to Madden would be good, honestly. Hey, maybe if Two K is listening, maybe Two K. I think 2K would be popping. Yeah, Superstar Knockout. Superstar Knockout would be awesome if they had rewards for it. It would be awesome. If they gave away cards for it, it would be awesome. If they gave away some coins for it, they, it would be awesome. And it is in the right mode. Superstar Knockout is, is awesome. But they just need to, they need to fine tune it and give away. Have these kids playing it. The thing about EA, bro. Listen, this is what's crazy. They can get these kids to play any mode at any time. Look at the golden ticket solos, right? Boom. The servers crashed from kids wanting to play a solo. Is that not insane? So if you give away the lead, if you give away anything for any mode, the kids are gonna play it. But they put out this superstar knockout mode and there's no rewards for it. So why so why would little Timmy play it? You know? But I do feel like superstar knockout could be really tough and really successful. You know, if they just, like I said, they just put effort and put some rewards in Superstar Knockout. Really. But anyway, that's another squads. That's just how I feel. That's how I feel like in my life of playing squads, that's the most fun I've ever had. It's just playing mano y mano. Where there's no zones to help you. There's no blitzes to help you. There's nothing. You got to check the receiver. All stick work. And that's that's the way we like it, honestly. You know. Johnny, you want to get picked up, bro? They told me you were a free agent, bro. Oh, you got your own little... Nah, I ain't playing the nerds, bro. Y'all ain't getting no run. Not playing the nerds. Oh, yeah. Not playing the nerds. I just feel like it's just... Tell me play super Superstar Knockout. Journey gotta be ass, bro. But anyway, let's get into this. How we talk about this quarantine. We talk about squads, man. And when I talk about all this quarantine, man, I, I feel blessed right now because I feel like I have the best job in the world. And I'm sitting here, play video games, talk to you guys, shoot the shit, everything like that. I feel like this is the best 
I'm one of the few people that's blessed. I still get a paycheck. I still work. And no matter, I don't got to go outside. You know, I don't got to go outside. That's something that I uh, don't need to. So, uh, as we talk about quarantine, man. Bugs, you a free agent? But anyway, as we go to the quarantine, man. I, I want to ask you guys this, man. What are your best Madden games to play? Like, if you were locked away. Say you're locked away for two months, man. Say you're locked away for two months. What Madden? Give me three Madden games. Like, whether whatever year. Three Madden games you want to be locked up with. For these three months. Now, I will tell you this right now. I will tell you this. Uh, that for me, it is it is Madden 17, obviously. Madden 08 is my favorite Madden. And then, I, honestly, probably Madden 16. Madden 16, the first MCS, that was the best one. Um, but for me, like I said, 08, 17, 16. And I will tell you, as much as we think the game sucks... Man 20 is kind of, Man 20 is kind of, I'm not going to say it's all the way at the top, but it's not at the bottom. I'll tell you that. I pretty much, I do have fun playing Man 20. You know, do I think squads would make the MCS? Z Wallace, it's up to them. They could make it that popping. They could make it really that popping if they really wanted to. Wow, Journey, you're like eight years old. Boogie, what's up? No, Madden 20 is not awful, man. It's like, it's just fun. It, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't tell you guys that it's good. I, we're not here to say Madden 20 is good, but it's fun. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, isn't that what a video game is supposed to be, man? It's supposed to be fun. You know, if you're not having fun at a video game, what's the point of playing, honestly? Madden 25. Madden, Madden 12 was good. Was Madden 12 like Aaron? I feel like that was Aaron Rodgers, and I feel like it was the Eagles were tough with Namdi and Cromartie and Asante and things like that. I feel like the Eagles were tough in Madden 12. Madden 12 might have been a VG year, too. <clears throat> Fal- I don't think the Falcons were ever good in Madden in my life, other than the prime Vic years. Oh, never mind. The Falcons were good uh, when? Man, Man 17, the Falcons were the best team because Julio Jones is, is, was crazy. Yeah, 18, was, 18 and 19 were bad, bro. Let me be honest. 18 and 19 were bad. 17 and 16 were good. Man 20 is not on the 18, 19 list. Like, bro. Um, for me... Man, 20 is way over 18 and 19. It's not close. Like I said, if I was locked up, 08, 08 is my favorite. 08 was the most arcade, ridiculously crazy game. Like, it was just stupid. 08, yo, if 08 was, if Twitter was alive for 08, man. 08 and 09, oh my God. Yo, Twitter would blow up. A Twitter would blow up. Like, 08 was just a cartoon game. It was fun, though. It was a blast, and I had fun with it. I probably played it the most. As much as I play Madden now, I probably played 08 more than any other Madden. Maybe 08 and 16, I probably played the most. Um, They were great. Now, as we say this, man, but we talked about Madden. Now, I also ask you guys this. I also ask you guys this. Um, it, Outside of Madden... What any other games would you want to be locked away with? What are the other two games? Even maybe Madden is not even on your list. Madden would definitely be on my list. What are the other two games or three games? If three games total, you could be locked away with any franchise, any or, or any year, whatever it may be. Your three favorite games of all time, you are locked away with for three months, man. What are the three games you're bringing with you? And for me, honestly, now. We got to talk about, are we going to be able to play online? Let's just say we, online is still up, right? We can still play online. Any game, you can pl- still play online. Man 08, you can still play online. So think about it. Any game, seriously. So online play is available. Like, you can play online. Black Ops 2, bro. Black Ops 2 was unreal. I was, yo, know, Black Ops 2, yes. A lot of y'all saying Black Ops 2. Bro, that was the game. I'm saying WCW, Rocket League, y'all. I see. I, I ain't played Rocket League enough. Def Jam, Journey. What's Def Jam? 
like the fighting game like <laughs> blitz yo world at war was my shit too jesse bro yo was that xbox 360 world at war yo world at war was lit man the mp40 yeah, Black Ops 2 really. Black Ops 2 really for me is the best call. When people ask me the best call of duty, I snap pick. Snap pick Black Ops 2, honestly. Trini just put Def Jam. What was the it was a no, it wasn't Def Jam. It was a name for it. What was the name for the Def Jam fighting game, man? What was the name for the Def Jam fighting game, man? Oh yeah, the boat map. The boat map on Black Ops 2, and then the one with the mansion. The mansion map was popping too. Yeah, Def Jam, Fight from New York. Vendetta, yes, NV Vendetta. That's what it was. Hijacked was the boat map on Black Ops 2. Yup. Black Ops 2, bro. I feel like I still have that on my Xbox right now, bro. Def Jam Vendetta. I can't believe y'all. I ain't never played that in my life, bro. Yeah, no, Black Ops 2 was the best Call of Duty, man. Yeah, I have Black Ops 2 on my Xbox. Uh, my Xbox not plugged up right now. Honestly, I was t I, honestly I was like good at Black Ops 2. I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna tell you I was tough, but I was good at Black Ops 2. Like, cause you know what made Black Ops 2, man, and the more it comes back around that makes these games. Black Ops 2 had the league play, had the 4 on 4, like, the 4 on 4, it was comp, you feel me, chat? Like, Call of Duty was comp because it had the 4 on 4, honestly, that's what made it tough. Halo 3, I never got into Halo like that. I remember playing, like, Halo 2 or Halo 1, like, way back in the day. Like, it was this dude that went to my church that played Halo a lot, and he just tried to get me into it and play it. That's why I really wasn't a gamer like that, so I didn't really like Halo. I feel like Halo was for weirdos. I'm gonna be honest. When I was like a teenager, like like 14, 15, I felt like Halo was for weirdos. Like <clears throat> the cool people play Call of Duty <clears throat> and the weirdos play Halo. That's just how I felt. Plus, plus, honestly, let me tell you this. At the end of the day, Halo was on Xbox. I was a PlayStation 2 guy. I thought Xbox was for weirdos. Like, this is how I felt about Xbox, right? Why would you buy an Xbox when there's a PlayStation? That's just how I felt. Like, you gotta be a weirdo to buy an Xbox. That's And this is when I was young, and I'm was I would, I'm not gonna say I was right, it's just how I felt. Like, cause let's be real, you everybody went PlayStation, the first PlayStation, cause the first PlayStation had no comp. I believe the comp was like Nintendo 64, right? Right, nah, no. so, you got the first PlayStation, right? So how the hell does one go? That's what I asked you. How does one go from PlayStation and not to PlayStation 2? They go to they go to Xbox. Now, if you had both, that's one thing. When I was a kid, I didn't have both. It was you pick one, right, chat? Now you guys tell me I would pick one. There was no go, there was no go and, and get both systems in every game. You gotta go pick a system. Now, obviously, from PlayStation, right? From PlayStation to the next step up is PlayStation 2. That's what I'm saying. Now, I have never played a Star Wars game in my life. Like, you, like, you know, just some people are just different type of people, honestly, to play a Star Wars game. I've never played a Star Wars game. No. But uh, for me, um, like I said, so I went from PlayStation to PlayStation 2. Now, when PlayStation 2 came out, that's when Xbox was out. So I didn't have Xbox. So I didn't really play Halo, honestly. Halo wasn't a thing for me to play. Um, so I played Call of Duty. You know, I forget what else the hell I played. On PlayStation 2, I, I don't really remember that much. But I played Call of Duty um, and never really got into Halo. To this day, I never really got into Halo. Is that Eric? That's the same order I went. Because when PlayStation 2 came out, the 360... I don't know why I got the 360. I'm going to be honest. I heard a lot of reviews that the PS3 was kind of ass. And I got the 360. I that's, that's the same thing I did. I went and got the 360. 
Yeah, I might have got the three late, the three sixty earlier. I don't know. What happened to me was, let me tell you, what happened to me was, I I, I was I wasn't real hyped because honestly I wasn't a super gamer back then. Like I played Madden with my friends, but I wasn't a super gamer. I went outside. Now I don't know if y'all still do that today, but I went outside when I was you know eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I, I was outside. So um, but I used to play Madden. Right, and I used to be on like a Madden leader, a Madden forum. I don't know if you guys ever went to forums, but they would have like the they would have like the sections. They would have like, all right, let's break this down, or you know, you know how a forum works. Like, okay, this is the you know the, essentially the section, then the topic, whatever it may be. And it used to be Madden for the current gen, and Madden for the past gen, or Madden for the future gen. Once they changed that, so Madden Xbox 360 was the current gen. I had to go buy a 360. I'm not getting you know what I'm saying, because I believe. It was Madden 07 was the year it kind of was 50-50. Not even 50-50, but it was like... And I didn't have Madden 07 for 360. I went and got... Madden 08 came out, and I bought Madden for PS2, right? Probably played Madden 08 on PS2 for a week. And then I'm like, bro, I got to get the new system. Went out, bought the 360, got Madden. And probably, for me, probably top five game for me, Gears of War. I heard none of y'all say that, but I don't know if you guys were nerds. Gears of War 1 was like, that shit was like, that shit was a cult. I, I absolutely love Gears of War 1. Gears of War 1 um, and Madden 08 were like, that was my 18 to 21, honestly. Yeah, Gears of War was tough. Um, and no, I, honestly, I don't know how Gears kind of died out, really. I guess... The games they put out weren't any good, or I, I really don't know. But I, I, I think I think they could have used that franchise and did better with it, honestly. Yeah, Gears 1. That's what I'm talking about. Gears 2 came out was kind of cheese. Everything else after that was kind of cheese, honestly. Nothing nothing could, like, nothing could be Gears 1. Gears 1 was awesome. Yeah, Gears was awesome. So that's the game. I bought that in, in Madden 08. So that rolled me through the Xbox 360, honestly. Yeah, so so if you were asking me what three games I could have with online play, it'd probably be Man of Eight would be one. I feel like a one player game, like I have no a lot of, I love one player games. I really do. But at the same time it's like Bro, are they it's so much more fun playing other humans. Like I gotta pick I gotta pick Online games, bro. Like, I loved Metal Gear. I absolutely loved it. But I, I just had to play against other humans. That's what makes it so much fun. But for me, Metal Gear was awesome. Man 08. But I would pick Man 08. Probably, probably Madden 17, maybe. So, honestly, if I had to be locked away, it'd be one Madden, one 2K. Uh, maybe not even 2K. Call, du Call of Duty... Black Ops 2, and maybe this, yo, I can't lie, I only played it for like three days, but this Warzone's pretty tough. This Warzone right now, like I said, I only played two days, and every time I played was with Niners, so I don't have any wins or anything, but it's pretty tough. You know, it's pretty tough. You know, I need to get my goons, bro. I don't know where my goons are, really, on the Call of Duty. I don't remember virtual trader. Y'all don't want y'all don't want to pick anybody up. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, let's talk about let's talk about the Madden Bowl for real, for real. Let's talk about that um, because obviously with the SARS or the SARS, whatever the hell it is. Um, like I said, with the SARS, it's not SARS. With the coronavirus, Madden Bowl is pretty. It's pretty much cooked. So let's talk about that. Obviously, if you guys are in here, you watch the MCS. Um, so we're talking about um, it's going to be canceled. And like I said, there's about a quarter million dollars out there to be give, given away, right? Um, what should we do with this quarter million dollars? Now, the simple-minded thing would be, boom, let's do an online tournament. Now, an online tournament, who knows who's playing for who, who's playing for what, who's playing when, who's playing how. Like, nobody really knows that. It's impossible to make people stream. It's impossible to make people stream with a face cam. And even that, I will be honest. 
if I, I could fake the hell out of like I could get Skimbo to come here and say play the game, I'm gonna have my face came up. I could I could do that one million percent. When as a streamer, I could do that one million percent. It's easy, honestly. One million percent. And nobody would know the difference between me and you guys. You know, but uh, so it's an online tournament. It would be okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not the one to say it would be the worst thing ever, but it would be pretty cool. Uh, and it'd be it'd be all right. It would it would ruin the MCS viewership, honestly. Uh, so for me, um, yeah, it, it definitely would be. A, I want to say a little rough, but it it would lower the viewership. But if you asked me, and you said W, if they came to me, which they should come to me for a lot of ideas, honestly, because. I feel like I'm full of ideas, chat. I feel like my creativity is far vaster than anybody else in the whole Madden world. I just know that. So, I feel like if they came to me for ideas, shit would be super more popping. But, they got their own ideas. But, but, if, if they dick on me and said like this, if they said like this, if they said, W, what would you do with the Man Bowl? Listen, what would you do with the Man Bowl? It's canceled. We can't have it in two weeks. If you asked me. Now, I, I, I've learned this lesson from uh, 2K. Now, when is Madden most popping? When is Madden the most popping? Chad, I'm going to ask you guys that. When is Madden the most popping? When do people watch it the most? That's what I'll ask you guys. No, I don't see. Okay. All right. You guys are wrong. All right, everybody's wrong already. All right. Madden is most popping the first week it comes out, bro. Just like every game. Look at look at Twitch right now. Look at Call of Duty. Look at MLB The Show. People are watching baseball. 300 people watched me suck at baseball last night because the game just came out. Like, it, it, and, and for a streamer, man, you'll see when baseball, co when Madden comes out, we'll have thousands of people watching us individually streamers. So, if you have this tournament that you have to delay, right? Madden is going to come out August 4th. Somehow that got leaked, right? If it was me, I would 1,000% have the tournament. Now, I would ask the competitors uh, because obviously they're competing for a lot of money. So the perfect the perfect idea, chat, the, from a viewership who wants to watch it is have these 14 guys or 16 guys, whatever they do, have, it, have them come down and play it the day before it comes out. The brand new game. Now, obviously, they don't know how to play the game. They're probably going to suck at it, and it's going to hurt them from winning money. So they'll probably be against it. You know, they'll probably say, no, I don't want to play, you know, joke with me. No, I don't want to play on a new game. Oh, my gosh, this is stupid. It's for so much money. I don't want to play. I don't know how to laugh. That's what would happen. They're not going to want to do that. But imagine how many people would watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? That, imagine how many people would watch the brand new game with the best players playing it. Seriously. Like, it would be, like, honestly, no, seriously, it, it, they, everybody would bitch about it. They would, they wouldn't like doing it. But for me, dude, it, it, as much as how many people watch it, man, the max we get now is probably 20K, right? But if you put, yo, honestly, if you put all these guys playing the new game right before it drops out, There'll be a hundred thousand people watching it because it's brand new. You know, now honestly, if they want to, oh, I want to let the game, I get to practice, make it a week after the game comes out. You already got to delay it because what's that? What's it's March? You're not going to have this till May, if anything, if they even have it. May, June, just so you wait two more months and do it when the when the new game just comes out. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, and this is another thing. The further you wait, the further you wait, the less popping it is. Honestly, the further you wait, if you were to do it in June or July, ass, ass, it will cut. Yeah, but see, but see, honestly, it's just like I feel like the the first week.
I'm just telling you, if, to make it more popping, but do it on a new game. Just do it on a new game. Who cares, bro? Who would bitch? Because one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it affect it. Listen, I wouldn't let it affect. I wouldn't let it affect. We're still gonna have the same four majors in Madden 21. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it'd be super popping. I really do. And and the longer you wait to do it now, the less it's gonna be popping. And the, the I mean, I just that's how I feel. But see, bro, I mean, give him a week, bro. Give him a week. Just give him a week, bro. Huh, Eric, but they're not going to put more money into this shit. That's the point. They're not going to put more money into it. They're not going to say, no, let's put more money into it. Let's go, let's put another 50K in it. They're not going to do that shit. But they got $220,000 sitting out there that they already act, allocated to a man tournament. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do more money. That's not fucking happening. We're not talking more money ever on this show ever again. Please stop bringing it up. Put more money out. It's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what about a week? You know what I'm saying? Give everybody a week, then bam, man, man bowl. Dude's close to, I mean, that, that's a that's a stretch, but that could work, honestly. Now, I, I, like I said, I wouldn't want to throw him into a brand new game like you got to play tomorrow. But if you give him a week, a week after the game drops, boom, we have an event on the weekend, 16-person tournament for 220000 Doesn't affect Man 20 MCS at all, or Man 21 MCS at all. We still have regular ass Man 21 MCS. But the first week of Man 21, we have a brand new tournament that actually carried over from the first one. $220,000 that we didn't get this year that we're going to get in the first week of next year that's going to be super popping. 100,000 people watching this shit because it's a brand new Madden and they want to learn what to run, you know? So now your views are skyrocketing. So now you can pitch, you know, your your Papa John's and your Snickers that they can pay you that much more money because instead of 5,000 people watching, you have 50,000 people watching the new Madden because they're more interested in it. Nobody's going to give a shit about it if it's in June and July, bro. They're not. And this is kind of... Listen. Whatever. I'm saying piece of job, Whatever the hell it is. But... And this is what I realized. And I realized this from the 2K League, bro. I was watching the shit out of Pro-Am streams the first, the first month. Right? Like I'm saying... I was watching Pro-Am like shit the first week 2K come out. Now, I don't give a shit about Pro-Am. And the league hasn't even started. Like, they're waiting so long to start the league that it's like, I don't even care about this shit. And I'm like, I don't want to say I'm a casual. I'm more than a casual 2K fan, right? A casual fan, definitely out. And I just feel like if you drop the Madden tournament the first week, the first week of Madden 21... Uh, it would get way more eyes than if it was this first after the first month of Madden 21. You know, I feel like as, as a streamer, you're learning to capitalize, and MLB is the perfect example. You're really learning to capitalize on, essentially, you're learning to capitalize on launch dates and release dates of video games. And I feel like one thing Madden doesn't do, you got to capitalize on the launch date, the release week, the release month of your game. And that's the best way to do it is to have a tournament in the first week or two weeks, you know? Oh, yeah, we're not arresting people. Philly is not arresting people from... Yeah, we're having the purge over here in Philadelphia. Rags his ass. No, honestly, Niners... Are, yeah, Niners just an idiot, bro. Like, read, read, the, or just read, read more, man. That's all I gotta say to you guys. Right now is read more. Just read more. Because I read that I read that four hours ago. Read more. That's all. Just keep reading, please. Anyway, but I just think, man, EA has to do a good job of capitalizing on the first the release date, you know. 
Because let's be honest, this man bullshit is not happening. It's not happening this month. It's not happening next month. So maybe it could happen in June and July. Like, honestly, what would be a better... What Honestly, what would y'all want to watch more? The best players play a week after the game release or in June and July on Madden 20? Seriously, serious question. What would y'all rather watch? Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Jesse, that's what it, that's what it's going to be. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah, Vos. Ain't nobody want to watch the old game the first week, bro. No, 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 I think the new game, and, and that's what I, and that's what I thought. I remember we did the Vegas event last year, I believe it was like a year ago, and that was in like June. It was like, bro, we're still playing Madden 19. It was June, and um, I, I it was kind of the same thing, you know. It was like, you know, it might have been July, shit. So it was a little bit before the launch of the new game, really. No, no, I think the I think the power of the new game, bro. The power of the new game has so much it attracts so many eyes, bro. I think y'all really underrating how many eyes the new games attract. You know, I think it could it could just quadruple and five times as many people watch the MCS. Like so it would it would just it would make the MCS so much bigger if they if they capitalized on the launch of the game, really. Cause they already have the competitors, they already have the money they can give away. Like I said, the guy's plan would be, oh, I don't want to play on the new game, blah, blah, blah. I have this glitch run in this, you know, so. And honestly, gameplay, I don't want to say it's better the first week or the first month. It's a little more entertaining. You kinda, you're kind of in that, that wave of, let me see what he's doing, you know, or let me see what offense he likes, or let me see what defense he found that he likes, or let me see what his, you know what I'm saying? It's a little more, you're a little more surprised by things. Yeah, so I, I just feel like I feel like viewership wise it would be times a hundred. It really would. You know. But we'll see what they do. Like I said, that's what I would do. I would use I would use the launch of the new game to really propel the MCS. Isn't fair, bro. It isn't fair. What the fuck, it, bro? This is how I feel about fair in life, right? This is how I feel about the word fair. I fucking hate the word fair. Because you know who use the word fair? Pussies. Fucking fair. Listen, if I have the same thing this guy has, it's fair. That's not the word. You know what I'm saying? I hate the word fair, for real. Fair. It's not fair. Not fair. I fucking hate that word, bro. Seriously, I hate... Yo, the biggest bitches in the world. You, fair. Listen. This is how I always feel about it, bro. As long as we don't have a disadvantage starting, then 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 I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fair. Honestly, this is how I feel about the shit, right? If I'm if I'm if I'm one of the best players, right? If I'm one of the best players in Madden, right? Boom. You give me a week on the game, just like you give John, Tom, Dick, and Harry a week on the game. I'm going to be one of the best players. That If you give me 24 hours on the game, I'm going to be as good as somebody else with 24 hours on the game. If you give me 24 days on the game, I'll be as good as 24 somebody else with 24 days on the game. Simple as that, you know? That's just how I feel about that. But it's okay. Well, I mean, then how good are they at Madden? I don't know.
Listen, bugs ain't that tight. No, I mean, I don't, I mean, I just feel like, bro, it would be popping. That's all. Listen, that's how I feel. It would be popping. If I were running the shit, that's what I, I would do because it would be popping. And my job is to make shit pop. Right? That's all I'm saying. Fuck them. That's what I say to the competitors, bro. Y'all Madden players. Let's go. Tighten your belt and come on. It's popping. That's how I feel. I... And they said, how do you get the MCS popping? That's what I would do. That's what I would do. That would be my goal. It would be tough. No, well, what needs to happen is they need to throw Club Series out. But, you know, that's just my two cents. I'm saying. Stream more games. I do, X-Factor. I think the people in Man 20 are good players. I really do. I don't think they're going to be bad. And I think the people that won in Man 20 are grinders. Grinders are always going to be good. Volt has always been good at the game. You know? Just because he didn't win a belt in Man 19 or Man 18 or Man... That doesn't mean he wasn't good at the game. He finally put some games together. You know? And he was a step ahead of everybody. Put some games together. So, who else do y'all think? Noah? Let's say Noah. Because let's keep shit... Well, let's, let, let's rewind and keep shit one million. Because y'all being weird. The people that run, y'all think ain't going to be good in another Madden. Let's just call it what it is. Right? I was talking about Volt. Volt has always been good, and he's a grinder. Boom. He's a grinder. He's going to find a way to be good at every game that comes out because he plays the shit out of it. Same thing with Noah, dude. No, All Noah did was grind money games. The kid is 17 years old or whatever. He's young as hell. To say he's not going to be good in another Madden because the run won't be good is pretty nuts. Seems like a kid that will find out whatever's going to be good and get good at it, honestly. I'm just, I'm, I'm, chat. Everybody done made the run already. The run's already been made. The tournament is, 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 bruh. The tournament ain't even start yet. It's just, it's, they ain't even start yet. Maybe, who knows, X Factor? I would want to watch it. That's my point. I would want to watch it. And that's why I would want to watch it. Do you want to get this shit popping? Or do you want to tickle the nuts of the man players? Oh, I want to make it good so you can be good at it. Yes, I want to get. I want to make it optimal for you to be good so you can win money. Fuck what everybody wants to watch. Fuck what everybody wants to do. I want to make sure you can win. I want everybody to have a fair chance to win. Everybody have equal success. Like, bro, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Do y'all want to watch this shit? Or do you want to tickle the nuts? That, that I'm saying? The fuck, man? No, man, I just... I, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be fair. Some people wouldn't be good in, t in a week. Okay, let me see. I would like to see. And shit... If you want to agree on two weeks, let's make it two weeks. But you have to capitalize on the first, the launch date. Because honestly, that's what I ask you. What's the other option? And let's say, let's say a weekend before launch. Pretty cool. But this is how, this is how it would be. Because this is how, this is how it would be. I'll tell you that. This is how it would be as a viewer, right? Right? Week before the launch. It's a pretty good idea. I'm not mad at it. This is what would happen. Here's little Timmy. Clicks on Twitch. Oh, man and Bowl Championship. The new man's coming out. He clicks on, starts watching. Say, and what's he going to type in the chat? GG, GG, GG in the chat, right? He'll type GG, GG, GG in the chat. GG, GG. GG, GG, GG. That's what they would type, right? Then they would type, is this Madden 21? Is this the new Madden? Oh, no. Oh, this same stretch and dive. This same stretch and dive and Vic and uh, the same plays. And they would leave. That's all. But that same little Timmy... In a week, when Man 21 comes out, when he types, GG, 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 drops, GG, 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 drops, drops, GG, GG. Oh, Man 21, let me see what, I don't know what's going to happen. Let me watch. That's all. So, honestly, 
a week before the launch would be better than June. Probably be even better than May. Probably be even better than right now, really. But to Don, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to have to give shit out. Give shit out. Give shit out. Give shit out. Come watch. Come on. Give shit out. Come watch it. No. My product is good enough to get people to watch without give shit out. Give shit out. Now Madden isn't good enough. Madden does need to give shit out to all these little little to play. It does. But it won't have to the first week of the game. And you, what you say is crazy. But you know what else I hate? When they give out a free copy of the game in December. Oh, get this code to get the new Madden. But if you gave out the new Madden in the first week. Because not every little Timmy has it the first week. Bang. You can kill two. Another thing. Bro, the first week of the game, bro, how many bullshit elite cards do they give out throughout the year? Carolina Club Series, get your base elite, Luke Keekley. And we laugh at this shit. If you did that the first week, it'd be gold. Bro, the first week has so many advantages, bro, seriously. Yes, 83 overall, Ryan Kerrigan. If you gave me that launch day, I'm like, oh shit. I remember I had base, base Geno Atkins the first day. He was a beast. I put fear monger on them and everything. Bro, I'm telling you, man, there's so many advantages to the first week. The only disadvantage is the players only have a week to get ready. That's the disadvantage. That's the disadvantage. You know, Dolphins fans might get a base elite uh, Xavier Howard or something, you know? Yeah, they gave out a Kerrigan in last week. They gave out a base Kerrigan. Yo, log in and get... And guess what? Them kids were still in there talking about some drops. 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 Disadvantage. Who's a disadvantage for? Extract Who? Me and Timmy had the same week. He don't got a whole year. We got the same week. I don't know, bro. That's how I feel. If me and another person had the same... If we had the same... Y'all, y'all, because you, I just, like, bro, I'm just so over the shit, bro. I don't know what the disadvantage, how's, who's it a disadvantage for? Seriously, who's it a disadvantage for? That's what I want to know. Who's it a disadvantage? And you say, let's make it two weeks. Let's make it three weeks. You know what I'm saying? It does. What they don't, I'm done. Yo, y'all just fucking babies, bro. Swear to God. It's not locked in. It's just like, what, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what's the disadvantage? That's what I'm asking. What is the disadvantage, bro? No, books stutter too much to be on this Discord, bro. Too much stuttering, bro. I, I don't understand what the disadvantage is. Lights out. Yeah, you definitely bugging. I'll bring up 10 clips right now. Okay, who says it's gonna be at their peak? And and some people, okay, X Factor. This is my point. Okay, so what? If, if, at that same notion, chat. At that same notion, not everybody reaches their peak in a week, right? Okay, maybe I'm at my peak right now, but they canceled the tournament. Is that a disadvantage for me? Right? I'm at the peak right now. I'm ready to play in a week, right? I'm balling. I'm just the best I played all year. No, I, I'm so far ahead of the competition right now. But they moved the tournament. Um, they moved it ahead two months. Is that not a disadvantage for me? And I ask you this: What is the difference? Because now I'm not at my peak anymore. Maybe some people get at their peak in, in month eleven. I rest my case, bro. That's what I'm saying. Why is it not a disadvantage that they postpone the tournament? I'm just asking y'all. It's not fair. Oh, now they're on theatrics. See, they don't want to talk. Up, oh, knock on. Nobody gonna argue. A week and a month are two different things. Yeah, I'm just saying. Why is why why is that the tournament? Man, I don't know how they promote it. I don't even know they promote it. When do they promote it? Man, 
Why y'all? Everybody got to do. Where's my LCQ? Uh, LCQ. What? What's about? I don't know. It, obviously, yeah, it'd be cool. They could. I mean, they, I feel like they could have LCQ the same way they were gonna have it. What is it like? Two weeks? I feel like they could have it the same way. I don't know why anything's stopping that. Then you have your two other players to be in the man bowl. It's a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. It's not fair. That's what I heard. It's not fair and it's a disadvantage. That's what that's what I heard. Whole pussy America, bro. It's not fair and it's a disadvantage. Uh, Jesse, if it was me, I would make every single belt the same amount of money. Everyone be what seventy five thousand or something like that, man. For real, that that that's yo. That is the argument against it. This is my argument. This shit would be super popping. A hundred thousand people would watch it. Everybody would come from all over, all over, every, all over Twitch would watch the new man and the best players play it. Their argument is it's not fair or it's a disadvantage. That's the argument. That I I mean. If y'all want to be in the night, it's not fair. It's a disadvantage, crew. Being in not fair, it's a disadvantage. I want to be in the. The shit's gonna be popping. Madden's gonna grow crowd. That's my crowd. I want to be in. Y'all can be in the not fair. But the, but. Nah, right, boys. That's why the shit. That's why the shit ass, bro. All right. Say no more. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. That's a whole solution for the shit. That's a whole. That's my whole point. It's their, it's their job to make it popping regardless. Now, yes, but if you put it this time, it's going to be super popping. Yeah, dude's close. It's not fair. Let's, let's, it's not fair to LeBron. You're right. It's not fair to LeBron. Shit, it's not fair. Who just won the last tournament? Noah. It's not fair to Noah. He the hottest man player right now. Shit, it's not fair to Fancy. Fancy, the last month, Fancy's been the best, right? Isn't it not fair or it's a disadvantage for Fancy now that this shit all delayed, right? Seriously, didn't Fancy get robbed? Maybe maybe I have more time now to lab up defense for trips, right? Chat, am I lying? But oh, but but giving people a week to prepare would be a disadvantage for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's what I would do. This shit would be popping. Launch hype is popping. Yo, that that idea only benefits viewership. One day y'all gonna wake up, bro. Viewership is all that fucking matters in life, in fucking everything. People get paid for what the eyes they attract. The MCS gets more money if it attracts more eyes. Viewership is king of everything. Viewership is the king of sports. Viewership is why Philip Rivers can get paid twenty eight million dollars because people will watch him. If their team does better, more people will watch the Colts. That is why sports. Players get paid so much. Seriously, viewership is king. There was nothing more important than viewership. Period. In every aspect. No, but I'm just saying. Bro, and I'll tell you. You say preach. Church. Bro, the church. Yo, a church makes more money if there's more people in the seats. Have y'all ever been to a super church? I'm talking thousands of people to sit in the church. Guess what? That pastor makes more money than the one preaching a sermon to 10 people. That's how that's how the world works, bro. Seriously. That's how, bro. That is how, bro. That is how the world works. Viewership. No, art, bugs don't articulate. And the MCS X Factor. This is my fucking point. Yo, if there's 100,000 people watching the MCS, guess what? It makes more fucking money. So, therefore, it... Bro. Oh, um, I'm done. Y'all just... Y'all lost. Y'all just don't know how the world works, bro. Y'all just don't know how the world works, bro. Y'all just don't know how the world works. And y'all don't know how the world works. And people just... Y'all y'all sleep. Everybody's sheep. Everybody's sheep. Okay, so if EA has 100,000 people watching a tournament, right? They can get more money from Snickers because the, the, the more people are watching the ads. That's how it works. That's how it works.
telling you, bro. Bro, I'm gonna be real. If I wasn't, if I say, all right, so say I was, say I was joke, right? And I made 70k this year, right? And I'm one of the best players. I got a good chance of winning the last tournament, right? But I, my money normally comes off the MCS, bro. And I'm pretty much guaranteed to be a top 10 MCS player every year, right? So, but if 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 our MCS event does enough, right? Hear me on this. If my MCS event does enough to double the prize pool the next year, right? Not, not that it would, not that EA would ever do that. But let's just say the growth of MCS, boom. Now they're giving away $2 million instead of $1 million. Now instead of making my 70K, I make, you know, 150K. You know what I'm saying? How can y'all not see this? But they're, Clef, they're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But that, but now, but see, Clef, this is, the, this is what you're saying. You're saying is 1 million percent true. They should definitely have an MCS launch event. Yes, they should have the top four players just go play a four-man tournament that people would watch and get it popping. Yes, they would. It would be awesome. But they're not going to put more money. They already have this money allocated to the budget to give away. Utilize it the best way possible to grow the MCS. Think of the big picture of all of this shit. Because without that shit, what are we doing? Clutch for sure, and I just, I mean, that would probably probably be the best for both worlds, but I, I do think more people would be like, ah, this isn't the new game I'm leaving, I'm not watching. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to have a random, uh... Earl, yes they should, bro. There's so much money to be made in Madden, bro. If they're not making money, that's their fault. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you're not making money in Madden and you're one of the top 100 players in Madden, it's your fault. Period. I'm done with it. The pro Madden players need to get played more. There's so much money out here. There's so much money in content in Madden and not even putting your schemes out, not even streaming. There's so much money out here. If you're not making it, it's your fault. All right, Niner. All right, Earl, Earl, I agree, bro. Earl, we should all be millionaires. Everybody that wins a belt should be a millionaire. Yes, but how do we get to that point? Get the shit popping. That Do y'all not understand? How can we get the shit popping? We could get the shit popping. That's my point. And I, I want to see the shit popping. I don't want to see the shit where it is now. I want to see the shit popping. So why? That's what I'm saying. Club Series is ass, bro. I'll never... Listen, I don't want to be... I, I, it's just ass. Ass. It's ass. There's no leaderboards anymore because of it. It takes half the money. People pick what what, what road they want to take. It's just ass. It's all about the viewership, Allerton. That's my point. It's all about the... Yo, viewership is the life. It is life, chat. Viewership is life for any profession. This is what I want to know, chat. Let, let, give me a job. Give me a job about viewership. Give me a job you don't think viewers matter with. B viewers is advertising. Viewers is growth. Viewers is marketing. Give me a job. What job? What's your job? Chat, let me know what you do for a living in the chat. I'll let you know it, I mean, how it relates. Seriously. Accounting. Okay, accounting has... You don't need viewers to be an accountant, right? Element, this is my point. You don't need viewers to be an accountant, right? Let's just move more with accounting, right? But if you're a hell accounting, right? So I go to my account. I'm going to go to my accountant and probably in the next week to do my taxes, which I hope the coronavirus delays taxes. But I didn't win any MCS last year, so I don't have to pay that many taxes. But say you go to your accountant, right? Boom, your accountant kills your job, right? They kill, they kill the work you give them. Bang. Now you're kind of a viewer, right? Because you are essentially a word of mouth. You are a reference to other people. You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially how... I, and then so you tell your neighbor Larry to go get the same... Use the same account. Boom. So he uses the same account. Now your account got two viewers, two customers. Essentially, that's what it is. So he has two viewers. So now between you and Larry, you can go tell Barbara down the street. Now Barbara, boom, Barbara goes, she goes to the same account. So now your account has three different viewers, you, Larry, and Barbara, you know what I'm saying? 
Boom. Viewerships are always, listen, viewership is just your customer base, man. Barbara, Barbara goes to the same account because that account had two good viewers. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys ever talk, do you ever, guys ever like, some of the streamers, do you guys ever like, what's the word I'm looking for? Do you guys ever like talk about other streamers to your friends or like promote other streamers to you? Like, yo, go watch Dr. Disrespect, he's funny as shit. Or go watch, you know, Tifu, he kills in Fortnite. Go watch Problem. He's the best man player ever. Do y'all ever talk about other streamers? You know what I'm saying? Because essentially y'all become, you guys become the advertisement, you know? So I hope one day people say, damn, go watch Dubby, man. That shit, that's just funny. He's funny. The podcast be popping. He be playing Madden. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, yo, every viewer is, viewership is business. You know what I'm saying? Bro, viewership is business, man. It just really is. Niner, shut the fuck up. It's not a gameplay topic, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Viewership is business. Viewership is business, bro. That's all I'm saying. So the more, so like I said, if you put that bitch, if you put that bitch in the first week of the game, Stiff don't want to play Madden, bro. He don't really be playing Madden. That's what I'm saying, bro. Viewership is business. It is in pretty much every aspect. Viewership or your your clients, your word of mouth from people, I'm telling you, that's business. It's advertisement, it's everything, man. And, it, and if Madden, Madden needs to capitalize once or twice, bro. It, it capitalized when it was. It used to be at the Super Bowl, it used to be at the Pro Bowl, it used to be around all the popping events. That's what I'm saying. It used to be at the Pro Bowl in the middle of where all these kids walking around the Pro Bowl. Now all of a sudden they're watching Madden. So now they got 50 to 100 to 500 new viewers in real life of the Madden game. You know what I'm saying? You, like... Yes, Niner, 1,000%. You're right. Because you got... Because followers are viewers. Like, essentially, when you look at followers, they're viewers. Those are... Like, it's the same thing. Dang, I mean, I, I I just feel like this shit could get popping. And then, yo, you know what else is crazy? Bro, you know what else is crazy? There's so many people that don't even know about, like, the MCS and shit like that, bro. That play Madden. Like, we talk about Snoop and his friends and shit. All them dudes that play Madden every night for hours. Like, they just play Madden more than us. They play Madden all night. Bro, they don't... <coughs> Got the Rona. That's it. But they play Madden all night. They don't even know about the MCS like that. There's so many groups of people like that, bro. There's so many groups of people that play Madden all day and don't know shit about the MCS. Now, obviously, that's EA fault. But this is a way they can make the shit way more popping, bro. I'm saying, man. Nah, I'm gonna be honest. Nobody really sees your tweets or really cares about them that much. Yeah, nobody really look at Niner's tweets. Oh, Niner tweeted about it. Oh, I'm out. X-Factor, yeah, for sure. I mean, that would be the biggest problem, but if those guys had long-term foresight, they would understand the shit. And they already making 5000 And honestly, if you ask those guys, and Bugs is locked in here, Clef is locked in here, I give you a week on a new game, are you going to be the best? Seriously. If you ask those guys, where are they going to... I feel like every man player would say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be better than the next guy. That's just how I feel. That's how I would feel about it, Really? Maybe not, I honestly I feel like maybe two weeks would be better than one week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if you give if you give those best players X amount of time on a game, 
then the same time as the next guy, I feel like they would feel like they would be better. That's all. And maybe not. Maybe they say, no, I wouldn't be better than the next guy. I need more time. But I don't know. Bugs and Clef are in here. I ask them right now. Would they be better? Would they be better than Noah if they on a new game in two weeks? Would they be better than Volt in two games? Would they be better than Mo in two weeks in a game? Would they be better? That's what I'm saying. And honestly, for me, it would be so popping. That's just how I, I don't think anybody would say, no, I need more time. I don't think anybody would say that. Yeah, I don't think anybody would say, no, I need more time. Envy, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, I mean, honestly, if they didn't want to do it, they didn't want to do it. But it, it would just be so much more popping. It would just be, I, honestly, that's right. It would be so much more popping that I think it would be worth it. And I don't see how somebody couldn't see how it would be worth it, really. Okay, and I, and I could go through the list, and I will tell you this. I could go through the list of the 16 people, and probably probably 10 to 12 of them would have the same answer. Yeah, I'm going to be better. That's all I'm saying. No, Boogs would say he'd be, he'd be better. Clef would say I'd be better. I feel like Mo would say he'd be better. I feel like Kid would say he'd be better. I feel like Henry would say he'd be better. Who else is locked in man? I feel like Joke would say he'd be better. Really? Lil' Man would just do what Joke did, but the PG version. So he'd say he'd be better. That's just, I, I mean... I don't know. Joke would definitely complain. I mean, he complained, but at the end of the day, he'd probably say, bro, I'd, I'd be better than... That's not my question, Just My question is, would you be better than this guy two weeks into the game? That's my question. Not, would you rather play on Man 21 or Man 20? That's not the question. Niner, no one is talking about what you're talking about, bro. Like, Niner, you're just talking about anything, bro. Like, you're just, you just, Niner is the only person to just put a paragraph out there, a whole paragraph with good punctuation, and it says nothing. Just random. Earl's world. For real. Like, not once did we ever say, bro, it's worth it to be a man pro, man. It's cool being a man pro, bro. No, bro. Earl is too much, man. You just, yeah, he just put a paragraph out <laughs> with punctuation. Oh, it's just nuts, bro. I just think it'd be popping. Now, obviously... If we could do Man Bowl tomorrow, it'd be good. I will tell you this. Option, play the game on Man 21. Hey, here we go, chat. Here's the option right now. Play the game on Man 21 two weeks after the game drops. Or play online tournament in a month. Online tournament or a week after launch. What's the option? What are we picking right there? Like that, that's not the question. I say I don't think a week before would be tough. I online tournament would be ass. Y'all want to watch online? I mean, a week before with all the drops for Man 20, like, or Man 21, if they had, like, it would be tough if they had free, like, give away free Man 21 copies. That'd be tough. Or what we could, what if they just took the 220 and put it to Madden? Well, I guess people already earned 5,000 of that, and they got a chance to earn more, man. I don't know. Twitch is not... I don't feel, I feel like people, 
I feel like people are making too big a deal about this first week. They're not good. And it's not enough time for competition. The fuck? We don't know what the road are going to do. Now, I'll be honest. EA takes so long to pay out that no one's going to get this money if the Rona really take over anyway. So, I mean. Regs was cool in 18. It's been pretty cool. I don't mind the regs. I don't. I think it's, I think it's good. Oh, yeah. Who knows, bro? So, Tess, what are you doing about Switch? Like, like, kind of making both of them an online tournament? Like, so, if it's 220K, let's take 70K and put it to a Madden 21 tournament the first week? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Like, just making taking that 220 and making two different tournaments? One, one to start, one to kind of be just the same man bowl now, but to cut the money a little bit because it's online, and then use it to do a live event in the beginning of Man Twenty One. So you, essentially, you're having essentially you're having both ideas. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, but they just be lower money tournaments. But for me, it's like if it's Bro, I don't give a fuck what they're not going to do. Let's be real. They're not going to do anything we want them to do. But we can just... This whole point of the show is talking is imagining. This is the whole point. Imagination. I don't know if you guys have it. I don't know. Like, come on, boys. Hey, yeah, they definitely canceled the NCAA tournament. It's about, they're not going to cancel Madden Bowl. They canceled the NCAA tournament. So it's like, all right, <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> he'd just be saying anything, bro. <laughs> he'd just be saying anything. <laughs> FSU, what are we talking about? Never community. I don't attack anybody. I feel like I don't attack anybody, chat. I feel like I'm fair. If I attack everybody, everybody gets attacked the same. Squad's tournament would be ass. I'll tell you right now, a squad's tournament would be terrible. It would be terrible. Right now, it would be terrible. And this game would be bad. Bro, they would. it would literally be vote. It would, nobody would pass. And nobody could run because there's three users, bro. It would be so ass. I'm telling you, it would be beyond ass. It would be beyond ass. Like seriously, say me and Cle no seriously, say me and Clef really played like Snoop and his boy for like ten grand, bro. How do you think we'd play? Like seriously, do you think we'd pass the ball every time? Fuck no. We would never. It would just be never passing. It'd be just straight up ass, bro. Seriously, it'd be bad. No, it would have to be a hundred percent run. There is no passing in squads. Passing in squads is just ridiculously tough. It really is. No matter who you are. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. For the way this game works, bro, like... It'd be rough. So I don't think squads... I'm telling you, the way I said it, the way it needs rules. It needs some structure. It needs rules, for real. It needs to be arcade. Like you said, superstar knockout, like some arcade type shit. Where it's all about just user, not about plays and passing and running. It's just all about user. Oh, yeah. It would be a run fest for sure. It would be an absolute run fest. And I wish I could run Blast, but they would just fumble too much. Honestly, I'd probably run Blast with uh, Lamar Jackson and Vic. Both quarterbacks activated, honestly. Or Heavy Panther, shit. Or, damn, what? Yo, as many times as me and, me and Throne play squads, bro, the one time we got popped was just these kids running Wildcat with, like, three uh, human joystick guys. Wildcat every time. That, I'm mean, honestly. 
I don't know, Jesse, bro. Me and Dan kind of undefeated. But me and Clef would be way better, like, if we got on the same page. Dan was on the same page, bro. We was on the same page. I'm here. Dan was kind of tough on squads. He was he was better receiver than Clef. But, yeah. But that's my idea. I, I want to use the launch period as, as a... No, I don't know. Dan, Dan was out on the runs, but Clef was out on the runs too, though. Jesse, but we lost because he missed the block, bro. I ain't going to talk about that. We're going to blame my pressure and accurate pass, though. Just because it's funny. Just because it's giggity, giggity, ha, ha. It's funny to, to blame pressure and accurate. You know what I'm saying? Giggity, giggity, ha, ha. My way, chat, this was the new podcast, episode 72, bro. Like I said, squads, you guys know the rules I put out there. What games could you play if you were in quarantine for three months? And my idea is to put Madden Bowl in the first week of Madden 21. Fuck them. Get this shit super popping. Niner's not coming back. The show's going to end with Niner timed out. Me and Niner might be on the war zone later. Uh, I don't know if, if Siwoo is our, uh, is our third, bro. He was kind of ass, bro. We might need to get Trey back. I don't know. Stop it. The Vicks. Yo, when, yo, when, uh, when Niner was like, let me go get the Vic. I'm like, what? That's vehicle. <laughs> yo, he started using, yo, he started using military terms. <laughs> yo, Niner getting a gun for our ears. Boop, boop. He'd be down. Boop, boop. <laughs> What's the noise when your teammate get down? Boop, boop. He said, I'm going to get the Vic. Boop, boop. <laughs> he be like, he said, people to the west. Boop, boop. Yo. <laughs> Niner, though. <laughs> How Niner get a crate drop on him, bro? That's nuts. But this was the Need a Podcast, episode 72. I will holler at y'all next week. Tuesdays.